Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Blue Star a very interesting consumer company whether you should buy it around 800 or avoid it so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I talk about Blue Star, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get that $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts that I put up uh, on one or two day basis. For detailed market or company talk, you want to have one on one discussion with me, uh, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a payment. Now about the company, uh, Blue Star was established in 1943 and they are focused on providing white goods such as water purifiers, AC, air purifiers etc. A leader in commercial AC services, uh, they also manufacture air coolers, water coolers, central ACs, uh, commercial refrigerators, large refrigerators etc. The market cap of the company is around 8000 crores. So what we understand from this is that Blue Star is not only an air conditioned manufacturing company but they are into a number of brands especially water purifiers is, uh, is having a lot of traction now and air purifiers is beginning to take shape. Uh, for them and probably in the next five years with the air quality index uh, all over India in, in, in such a uh, with, with su such a drastic change that is happening in, in you can say the cities I won't be surprised if air purifiers uh, take up a lot of uh, you can say percentage in terms of sales uh, for the company so there are a number of products they are coming up with there are a number of products uh, that are in line that they will come up with later on so the company as per se in my opinion is a consumer durable company just like a whirlpool uh, uh, so this is not something that you can just bank on for summers uh, like a uh, uh, like a company which just sells acs so that that's my point if you look at the numbers so these are numbers uh, for the june quarter and normally the june quarter is extremely good for a company like blue star because their major source of income is through acs and ac components etc uh, but we have seen that due to uh, the pandemic uh, things have not moved that well so a 27 percent dip in sales a 61 percent dip in profit uh, the debt is low there is debt but low debt is there so we we have seen how things have been in june and now these numbers are set to improve i have no doubt that from march onwards the numbers will set to improve and that is where i feel that the stock is primed for the next leg up so so uh, kindly take that on note a uh, low promoter holding but a very good uh, you can say dii holding FII has not bought a lot into uh, this company they look more into larger companies like banks etc this is just an 8000 crore market cap company so one can understand that FII's may get in when it becomes 20 30000 crore later on in few years time so that is perhaps uh, the reason why FII is not here promoters have not bought a lot into it but the uh, you can say the public shareholding has a lot of uh, you can say people who are renowned people who have bought into it and and there are uh, you can say corporate bodies other other kind of groups that they have bought into and they are into public shareholding so so per se with public and you can say with retail investors is, is a less amount rather than what you see on the shareholding pattern return on equity of 22 23 percent is absolutely magnificent it usually go up to 28 to uh, 30 percent uh, currently it is 20 to 23 percent uh, probably because of the kind of uh, you can say uh, situation we have had for at least two quarters the company and two of the best quarters that they could have sold the company was not able to sell the products uh, the march quarter normally february march is the beginning of the selling of the you can say the ac uh, ac and uh, by june quarter 
most of the selling takes place or sales take place and that is that has not taken place so that's why probably uh, the numbers look uh, slightly lower for the ROE and that's why operating profit margin has has declined uh, because expenses are there there are fixed costs that the company is trying to take care of and probably from uh, December onwards you'll see the difference is that the numbers uh, will tend to become better if you look at the performance uh, of the stock stock has given smart returns in the last five years last five years it has been a good doubler more than a doubler 140 150 percent it has it has gone up very well till till you can say 2019 uh, 2020 february but then we had the fall in feb march of around 30 to 35 percent and even at that point of time i gave uh, i i produced a video it was a live session and i i discussed about some of the best companies in the consumer sector and talked about blue star as well uh, that one can buy at these levels when it was around 700 650 right now around uh, it is uh, around 800 uh, so it fell sharply in feb march and that was the biggest opportunity to get into uh, stocks like blue star it has recovered smartly from the lows of 440 so it was around 440 at that point of time around 500 550 i guess i i, I made that video and and talked about uh, blue star uh, low net profit margin is a negative but as i explained i believe that in one year's time by the end of next year by the end of this year or by diwali you will see that the net profit margins and operating profit margins will improve as uh, sales increase and then you, you, you can understand that with uh, profit margins increasing and one thing more I want to add here that uh, after the budget and just putting that point forward uh, that prices of ACs would go up now what happens is when, when inflation takes shape for a particular product uh, the company rise price is smidgen more than what they require to so suppose that the prices of ACs should go up according to the raw material cost by around 10 percent the company will increase prices by around 12 percent 12 and a half percent and that two and a half percent may not seem huge or even if they increase by 11 percent that one percent may not seem huge but that's 10 percent of the increased prices so 10 per if 10 percent is the increase of prices and one percent more is increased by the company by itself and they pass on this to the consumers and that increase of one percent really help the bottom line big time so i have and, and that that's my opinion over the years inflation has made uh, bigger companies or better companies even better and they tend to make a lot of money uh, because what happens is they raise the prices more than what it is required and if the consumers uh, you can say pocket uh, that uh, that uh, takes the damage and and you have to buy at a very high cost so blue star will end up making better money on the bottom line and top line and you will see that happening in three or four quarters time so that is why i believe that these are interesting levels i won't say these are very attractive levels to buy at 800 but not bad either because this is a top class consumer company which is uh, now taking shape as becoming a consumer company and uh, i won't be surprised if this uh, you can say range of 650 to 850 880 is taken out and the stock doubles from that highs to around 1700 in no time so so uh, th these negatives help the stock to just stay at these levels for for you can say informed investors to buy so may see surge from summers I won't be surprised if from March, April onwards, you won't get a chance to buy it at even at 800, 850. And it has a very good dividend payout history as well. So it's not that they are not concerned about the investors. You get very good dividend uh, from the company as well. So all in all, as I explained, uh, the company is set to do much better in my opinion. You can take your own call. But in terms of AC companies, there are other listed. There is AC, you can say, component manufacturer that is listed. Uh, but I believe this is the leader and one should go with the leader, even if it is slightly expensive, even if you make less uh, percentage gains compared to others, but there is less risk attached. 
I won't be surprised if 900 is taken out. You are able to make 20 to 30 percent in this season itself over the next six months. It is a long term gem as well. So it is not that I'm just saying that, okay, this summer the numbers will be great and later on uh, you just sell in September, then buy again in March. It's not like that. It is it is at reasonable valuations when you take a two to three year perspective at 8000 crores. I believe that the market cap for such a business is very less as I have always explained about Dixon as well. Um, if, if I go back just to give you an example, not that you buy Dixon at these levels, but I'm just saying that at 3000, I made a video and told that at this market cap with such market cap to sales things and everything, the market cap of the company is extremely less. Even at 8000 crores, I believed it, that the market cap was extremely less. Similarly here, I believe that the company should be between 20 to 30,000 crores. You look at Whirlpool, it is at around 16, 20,000 crores at the moment, maybe more than that, I think 24, 25,000 crores. I won't be surprised going forward four, five, six years time frame, uh, you will have a market cap uh, which is much closer to 20,000 crores rather than 10,000 crores. Uh, high institutional holding low promoter holding but low promoter holding in this case because of the kind of uh, you can say actions promoters have done over the last few years and the company has done so well i won't be surprised if promoters end up buying more shares although there's no confirmation of it but i have a feeling that promoters may end up buying more into into the company to have uh, to instill more faith for the investors the valuations are reasonable and remember it is a consumer products player so it is it is not an ac company so it is becoming a consumer durable company and that is a huge positive then the pe will expand everything will change going forward once its products get the expense ex, uh, you can say acceptance from the uh, consumers you will see the company growing well if you believe in the management and the kind of products that they have already uh, produced you can go ahead and buy the company otherwise uh, probably look at other companies but i believe that uh, the company is set for an inflection point uh, in its uh, business it is a market leader in ac and may end up becoming a market leader in air purifiers as well and you you have to understand that ac penetration here in india is extremely less and at single digits level at you can say mid to higher single digits it could extremely increase i think it is in the mid single digits level or something it could easily if even if it goes up 50 60 percent blue star being such a leader in this space could increase sales many folds and we, we are having a situation where the government is pro growth government is looking to increase you can say electrification penetration etc this will be one of the top picks i would believe for the decade as well a market cap of only 8000 crore doesn't you can say justify for the kind of business that the company is doing if you look at the technicals uh, of the stock then there is strong support around the 660 level so that's why when the stock fell to 720 730 just three four days back before the budget it it felt like it was extremely attractive uh, on patreon i have a uh, you can say a watch list in which this is also there and i i kept saying that this is these are very attractive levels to buy and i just saw today that the stock is around 800 810 so from 720 to 810 in just two three days it has moved normally it revolves around 770 to 830 right right about there it has already run up say 90 percent in the last nine ten months but have corrected recently to 725 so i was waiting that okay from 820 830 it will correct it did correct for about 12 13 percent i think the correction in the stock is over around 780 to 800 levels are very good levels to get into and major breakout is expected above 880 so uh, one needs to be patient with it a little bit but over two three four years time you will see the magic happening with with blue star as well can buy even at these levels and buy on declines and probably after 880 is crossed you will see the major surge happening in the stock
so what needs to be done buy close to levels of 780 800 uh, it is a market leader in its space it's a extremely good company look for massive falls to accumulate even further so if you have money later on say in three six months time if it falls again buy more it's it's very hard to trade such stocks it is a top long term gem uh, that that you can get into So this was my video on blue star please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching